Welcome to Fun Over 40. So today we're going to review Smeg appliances. We're going to review the toaster, the drip coffee machine, the kettles, and the espresso machine in a very sophisticated and sexy way with booze. <laughs> Cheers. 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 So we're going to do some reviews. Mm. Because um, we're at that age where you own a home typically and you buy things for said home. Anyway, we have the line, we have a bit of the lineup of Smeg appliances. Smeg is an Italian company. Um, it stands for, I'm going to pull it out. No it, idea. It stands for Smalteri Metallurgi Shem Emiliane Gustala. Our apologies to everybody who lives in Italy. We love Italy and we want to move there one day, but I can't speak Italian. Which is a language was, I, I don't do it Scottish. Was terrible. Why don't I do Scottish? Small Terry. Please don't. So basically, it's enamel works out. That's what Smeg stands so. for. Anyways. Yeah, anyway, so that's Smeg. Uh, raised lettering, very nice. And they're known worldwide for their fridges and their 50s retro design. Very iconic style. Yeah. You also want it because of the colors that they come in. Tons of colors. Tons of colors. Gold, chrome, white, black, red, green. Teal. I don't know. Pops of color in your home. You're buying a Smeg because of its iconic design, but also because it's a piece of art. It's yeah. like a fashion accessory that you're putting in your house. Yeah, you're not buying these as high-end appliances. And I'm not saying they're not good, but you're not getting crazy, crazy features out of these. The espresso machine, um, it's an entry level, meaning and it's for an entry level user espresso machine. Um, that's really the most sophisticated thing out of these four. But we'll go over them very quickly, let you know, see what you think of them. So There's a reason we're doing this. Neil's in the coffee business, the coffee. so he is the uh, coffee connoisseur, and I am a nurse, so I'm the coffee addict. So between the two of us, we do know a good cup of coffee and coffee appliances because we've bought and used several through the years. Several. So, <laughs> so uh, that's our personal, not quite professional review of appliances that we use all the time, and uh, hope you like it. Yeah, we have actually for our coffee needs daily a Jura, and if you're in Europe, it's pronounced Jura. Jura. That's Jura. Jura. Uh, J U R A. Uh, we love it. Uh, Bean to cup, absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, let's let's talk about some of these. Okay. So, coffee machine. So this is the Smeg drip uh, coffee machine. Drip coffee maker. Yes. Basic coffee machine. It can make a uh, full cup of coffee, full cup, full wow. pot of coffee, half a pot of coffee. Um, what else does it do? Uh, it has a self timer, so you can actually time it to have a pot of coffee ready to go when you wake up and need that jolt of java in the morning. Yeah, it also uh, and keep, it also has this nice soft opening. Soft uh, opening. Standard kitchen counter between the counter and the upper cabinet is about 17 inches. This is about 15, so keep in mind you have to pull it out to open it. Uh, stainless steel, reusable coffee filter. filter. Uh, water gets poured in as a standard coffee machine, heats it up and comes out to a 48 ounce pot of coffee, which they love to say is 10 cups. In North America, that's more like five. Uh, uh, that is they, not 10 cups. <laughs> they do this, it's, uh, it's a standard it's been doing for every coffee machine for years. Uh, they say 10 cup or 12 cup, but they're tiny little cups. So uh, keep in mind, it's only gonna be about five, six cups of coffee for you out of that guy, but pretty pretty nice machine. Uh, makes a good cup of coffee and uh, aesthetically nice. I'd have one, yes. not in that color though, that's hideous. <laughs> to each their own, beauty is in the eye. Sorry, right? <laughs> that's hideous to me. <laughs> and, and depending on your screen, it to me it looks like mint, and I love mint, but it looks like mint. And some people when they're buying things online, they, they don't, their screen might be different colors, so they get it at home, like this doesn't look right, we've done that. Uh, because your screen is different than the actual thing. So keep that in mind when you're buying things online. Your screen that you're looking at might be different than what you actually get because it's a color thing and your screen might not be the same. So that's the coffee machine. All right, one yeah. review done. Cheers, on Cheers. to the next. On to the next one, okay. Uh, no. Nope. good machine then. Nope. No. Okay. And on to the next. Toasters. <laughs> Toasters. Makes bread into toast. Because <laughs> you can't buy toast at the grocery store. Toasters, Smeg toasters, come in three different varieties, the two slice, four slice, and the four slot is what you see here. What's the difference between the four slice and the four slot? So four slices of toast versus the four slot, which you can use to make um, different sizes of bread, artisan bread, um, thicker farm style loaves. Okay. You, it also comes with different, uh, oh, bagels. Bagels. It has a bagel function that toasts only one side, um, so you don't, you know, toast both sides of the bagel because apparently that's like a thing that you don't want to do. <laughs> it also has a function where you can defrost your bread. So if it's frozen and you want a quick uh, piece of toast, defrost it, toast it, boom, it's ready to go. I 
this one. And it has this cool little, uh, watch this. Queen of Crumbs. <laughs> very, very, very cool. When I was a kid, they didn't have bagel functions. You just put a bagel in and it toasts. I know, like they zhuzhed everything up. Ah. It also has different, uh, six different um, toasting levels, so you can go from very, very lightly toasted to super, super, super toasted. Also comes with all these fun little accessories. So it has a uh, bun warmer, so you can he uh, heat up your croissants on top. He has a multi rack. Um, sorry, multi-toast rack, so you can toast a bunch of bread and then keep it warm um, as you get your family ready for breakfast. And it has this, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's this metal rack that you put slices of toast in between and whatever you want in between, fold it up, put it in, and it grills it, toasts it. So you can have grilled cheese, croque monsieurs and madames, and I can finally fulfill that vow that I made to you when we got married to make you a sandwich. Awesome. Do you consider grilled cheese a sandwich? Yes, I do. You do? You haven't made me one. No. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm a bad Not wife. all those accessories are available in every country. <laughs> Just a heads up. Uh, and as the machines are actually Italian design, uh, and you can get one made by Dolce Gabbana, there are really high-end expensive hand-painted mm -hmm. uh, individual versions of these appliances. A lot of money. Um, you wouldn't actually use them, I don't think. They're just really pretty. They can go on your counter. So you can find those. They're really, really neat. So, real statement piece. Uh, this guy is, again, buying a toaster a little bit wider, about 17 inches wide, so keep that in mind. How uh, tall? Yeah, the, the, the retro style does always come with a little more size to it. So, but uh, yeah, mixed toast. So, review done. Review done. Cheers. Re Cheers. Next. On to kettle. Let's talk about this really sexy kettle because it makes water. Hot, so hot. <laughs> Paris Hilton, so hot. It's so hot. It's so hot. We love you, Paris. <laughs> so hot. Kettles. So Neil's not very excited about kettles, but I was born in Sri Lanka, so this girl from Ceylon loves her cup of tea. And every tea connoisseur knows that you don't just heat up a cup of water and throw some tea in it and expect it to always taste good. Mm -hmm. So this, the very te variable temperature smeg kettle, is perfect for every tea connoisseur. It they comes, also, wait, wait, it comes in regular. Standard, so right. Standard, what's that? It boils water. And it's pretty, look at how gorgeous that is. It's pretty, it's a little shorter, because it doesn't have the different base, but it just, the regular kettle, just boils water. So this is the same as that in, uh, it has an ergonomic candle, has a 360 swivel design, you can lift it up from the base and the cord stays there. So you can just position it any way you want on your counter. It has little, a soft open. Little gauge here to tell how much water is it. And how much water does this hold, darling? I don't know. 1.7? 7. 1.7 liters? Yes, that's what 1.7 liters? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and wait, it has that filter. It has a filter, right? Oh, yes, the filter. Has a, and you really... A lime scale filter. Yeah, lime scale in there. Not that you should, I mean, if, if you're smart, you won't let lime scale build up in your coffee machines. The reason you want this kettle is, again, because of the variable temperature, and the gauge is actually right in the front. Where is it? In the front. <laughs> right in the front. <laughs> it's the front now. <laughs> this is the front. Oh, <laughs> and you can toggle up or down, increasing or decreasing the heat as you wish, because as everybody knows who drinks their tea properly, that if you want white or green tea, it's at a lower temperature. If you want long tea, it's mid temperature. And herbal and black tea is at a higher temperature. And you can also um, keep it warm for about 40 minutes as long as you press the keep warm function after you've turned on the machine and set the temperature to what you want. And boiling is 212 for those that need to know what boiling is. Yes, so. good to know. No, it's good to, well, good to know because yeah. there's a big, uh, we're gonna go over to espresso and, and coffee. Uh, a lot of people think that, you know, you just heat up the water, but black tea it is boiling, green tea is think about 170, mm -hmm. um, and coffee is actually ideally between 196 and about 200, so you don't wanna boil your water for coffee. Even if you're doing French press, you wanna let it cool if you boiled it. So that brings out the best flavors. It's a kind of sore. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers, we're gonna be drunk by the end. Here's open. But it's 2020, and what else do you have to do? Really? Get dressed up and stay right. at home. Yes, next. That's what I do. I'm moving over here. All right. So, oh, look at this machine. The Smeg Espresso coffee machine. Yeah, which is a 14 in, uh, 13 and a half inches in length, and oh, sorry, height. It's about the same, say 14 in depth, and it's about, I think it's about eight wide, seven and a half wide. Uh, this is a port filter, so it's going to extend it, but for condos, small places, uh, it's small nice kitchens, small footprint. Nice and small, which is nice. One liter tank on the back. Removable. Removable. Uh, tank at the back. Passive cup warmer, so it's not actually heating. 
the heat of the machine. Well, if you want to put your cup up there, because you are supposed to pre-warm your cups when making espresso. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this doohickey. So this is very, very simple machine to use as the uh, amateur likes to pretend like she's a barista in Italy barista. and barista and wants to look very, very fancy while she makes her husband a espresso in the morning. You just press a button though, really. I mean, we're doing this review, but Listen, we literally yeah. walk over there and press the button. Now. Husband, this is what I do. Um, I, this is for you too. <laughs> I get up. <laughs> it's not real. Turn it on. You turn it on down here, the button's here. <laughs> You turn it on. Turn it on. So this is the only weird part. The, the side is where the button is. Anyways, it's on. It heats up in 40 seconds because it has a thermoblock heating system. So this way you can go from espresso to a cappuccino using the steam one function very, very quickly without having to wait. When you turn it, mach the machine on, the buttons flash for a few seconds and then it's heated up and ready to go. Do you want to know what a thermoblock is? Uh, no, but yes, everybody wants to know everybody what a thermoblock is. Because you know? it sounds cool. Um, it's a thermoblock basically, and I'm very crude analysis or description of what this is. Take a, take a block with like a channel that runs through, the block heats, but there's a channel for very small pin size amounts of water to run through, so it basically instantly heats the water. That's basically a thermoblock. So it heats water very, very quickly as it passes through, that's what it is. You said it so well. Um, also, when, when you say 15 bars of pressure, uh, in North America, we have drip coffee for the most part, which is basically, you know, you have your filter, everybody's you seen in the basket, and the, the coffee drips onto it and it comes through the funnel. In, in Europe, which is the real way to make coffee, uh, it's pressure brewed, so you need some pressure to kind of push the water through um, the, the finely ground coffee in espresso. Uh, it is, to me and to many, many people, the only way to make coffee. In fact, that's why if you're in Europe, uh, they'll make fun of you if you ask for an American style coffee. And why you would do that, I don't know. Because uh, the coffee is much better with, through pressure brewed. And that's becoming more of the norm even in North America as people get more sophisticated with coffee. So uh, think about drip coffee as a bicycle and espresso as a motorbike. It's a lot more power required to get espresso. There you go. Good analogy. analogy. Yeah, very nice. You thought I'd be doing this coffee thing uh, for a while. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> anyway. So let's see. So say yeah. that you want, you can have one, uh, one cup, uh, double shot or it actually comes out into two cups. So if you want to make that espresso martini mm, later later on, that's a thing. good way to do it. So the port filter comes with different... Um, port filter. What are these things called again? Baskets. Baskets. Okay. And if you are like me and don't know which one's which, that has, has a little uh, diagram at the bottom of each uh, basket for one cup, two cups, and this thing is a... ESE pod. Yes. So uh, this is a, again, it's a beginner's machine, uh, they're pressurized baskets and there's most upper end machines will have non-pressurized baskets. These are pressurized baskets and what that means is that you can buy coffee pretty much anywhere as long as it's ground decently um, and fine. It's a little more forgiving for, for someone to make an espresso. You don't have to have your grind dialed in just perfectly. So a single cup is obviously going to be um, not as deep. This is a single cup, right? Yeah. Yeah, single cup is not going to be not as deep. The double cup will be a little bit deeper because mm -hmm. you want more coffee in it and you can put two espresso cups side by side. And then the ESE pod is for, uh, they're hard to find in the market. Don't just look for coffee pods, be specific. It's called ESE, which stands for Easy Serve Espresso. You'll know it's an ESE pod because it looks like a, a round Tetley tea bag, only smaller, but it's got a tab on the end. Uh, regular coffee pods, um, they're a little looser, like a tightly tea bag. The coffee's the loose inside of it. ESC are really, really tightly packed, and they've got they're smaller, and they've got a little tab right on the end. They just you just buy those, and you just pop them right in here, and you can put them right in. So there's no, there's absolutely no mess. You just toss it in your compost when you're done. So easy way to make espresso. I know Illy makes them, Lavazza makes them, a bunch of the higher end brands make them. So very nice, easy way to make espresso. And then you gotta do the- uh, Yeah, so say so that you want to- <laughs> Milky thing, you wanna do the, talk the milky thing? Yeah, or? the milky, I thought you said gnocchi. You're like, oh, okay oh. then. Um, you want a cappuccino, you've made your espresso. And so you take your, we forgot the jug thingy. Yeah, the milk At jug. work, sorry. So you take the jug of milk. Pretend. It's, <laughs> it is manual. You put the wand in and then you press the button down heat it up as much as you want and then lift the button up. Very, very easy to use. Yep. A bit of an art to getting that done. So if you don't get perfect latte art, practice. It takes practice. It's hard to do with something um, that's about, I'm gonna say this amateur, but this entry level. Uh, it's not the barista level. No, but you look like you know what I'm doing. Yeah, I it does look, look like, good. I look like anyone. Nobody's gonna complain if you're getting a, spread, a cappuccino <laughs> made for them, really. Make me a <laughs> cappuccino, I'll be very happy. Okay. Anyway, okay. Also, the bottom drip chamber completely removes. Well, for bigger cups. So that you can make a, a bigger cup. 
mm. quite easily. Just come in here so we can show everybody the size of the set of latte. Because this is a pretty big cup. Mm. I'm doing this backwards. Looking like an idiot. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There and we go. we're good to go. So that's uh, that's Smeg, everybody. Uh, overall, I would say great for your. You're going to talk with a robot. Great for your um, kitchen in the way that it's an art statement. It is a solid appliance. I've used these off and on. They're they're pretty solid. Um, but you're not, I mean, you're not getting massive, massive, uh, you know, $2,000 special machine quality of this, and they don't expect that. It's a beautiful piece of art for your kitchen. It's a statement piece. All of them come in a variety of colors, and uh, we like the brand a lot. I think we're gonna have to get the black toaster for here. No, I want a big, bright red one. Dolce & Gabbana. All of it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. That's our review. Thanks for watching. Yeah, cheers. cheers. And uh, have some fun over 40. Well done. Yeah, that's right.